Hello and welcome and welcome back if you have seen it before any of my films. I have to move the chair so uh, so that uh, I can have my feet on the legs to the chair because in that case I can whatever. Uh, I thought that I would tie a really small uh, TTT Samurai today in colors that I will fish in Norway and I have high hopes on these small flies so let's see if I can catch a salmon on one of these flies and uh, I'll take this out of the vise and try to tie a similar one this is very translucent, not many strands in the wing and a little dubbing and two turns of a really small soft tackle and ended up with a micro turbo tungsten cone head so these are quite small and here I have uh, rigged the TTT the micro TTT, smallest one, and I have burnt a little color there, so just pull it back until it's against the uh, uh, TTT in the little hole in the back, and then we just put it on the vise on the needle. And here I don't grab hard and pull in the TTT. Instead I, I grab the plastic with two fingers and I pull, push it back with the tubing. And then I feel so it, uh, it's secured. So now I don't need any glue or anything. If you, if you grab a hold hard in this one and pull it too hard you can break the whole uh, fly. So. Grab a hold of the tubing and push that in. And a little thread up on the TTT. Here I have found a nice uh, little darker green. And I will take a really small wing of this first. This is not as a little hair as I will use because I will pull away a few of the stiffer strands and I cut it off and then I grab it between my thumb and index finger and then I pull away some of the stiff strands As you can see now, there's not so many stiff strands left on this one. Now I taper it by putting it wide between my fingers and pull in the middle. Something like this. And then I grab it with my right hand again between my index finger and my thumb so it becomes like this. And then I want it about two and a half centimeters. I make a loose turn and then I pull down. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can go all the way with a thread to the edge of the TTT because we will have some dubbing on top here before we tie in the, the hackle. And now I see so it, it looks quite good. And this is all I do with the first wing. And now we need a black just a thin top wing we need it to be a little bit longer than the that's too short 
this is quite long but I will pull away a few of the stiffer strands on this as well so it's gonna get shorter but I will just use the length that I need so I take away all of these stiff strands and now we just have these soft black strands left and now I have to hold it up against something bright so I can see how to taper the black one because it's hard to taper it against a Fredin Fly's table cover <laughs> because it's black and I think that is quite, quite good and then I pinch it between my thumb and index finger as you can see there's very few strands here and then I put that on top a little bit longer like this and I want to tie this on top of the green one, two, three, four, five. And check so it lands good. A little bit on the knife. Wait. That is enough. It's very slim. You can take away some strands in the middle there. This is quite long for being such a small fly, but it's so translucent and uh, thin so it will appear smaller in the water and a little comb through and then two small jungle cocks jungle cock feathers and line them up next to each other and as in almost all of my small flies I will use the hard white part on the lower part of the jungle cock to tie it in because that makes it sit real good and it's quite easy to tie it in in the right way. This one broke but it doesn't matter because I will tie it in over the hard white part. So a few loose turns, three, and we tie in the one on the opposite side. Same length and in the same spot like this and three loose turns so if you want to we can adjust it a little bit it needs to go down a little bit now I check the length from above just oh that's okay I think it looks quite good and then I can cut them off the stems and now we can glue this uh, part because we're gonna cover this in a little <laughs> wrong glue here it is uh, I can't get this one <laughs> to open but I have a, a plier somewhere which I sometimes have to use but on this bottle I don't screw the cork all the way down but the glue won't dry so you can do it like that or as the tips I have gotten from the the pros is on use a little bit of wax fly tying wax on the on these and then uh, it will never stuck apparently I haven't tried that yet I just uh, don't wind it on so hard here so and now I have glued the wings and 
secured the jungle cock. So now we take a little bit of gaudy green, SSS braid, the regular dubbing because this is a very small fly and I think the darker color is a little more discreet so I want this fly not to be so uh, visible. Just wind that on the treads, thread, spin it on the thread. And then we just wind it on, go up to where we have tied in the wings and the jungle cock, and a little bit forward, like this. This is enough. It's a very small fly. And I'll take a few more strands of the dubbing and go down on the extra small tubing. And try to wind that as close to the TTT as I can. And then I can take Bauer's pike tube and I can push that in. So it gets even tighter to the TTT, and then we will brush out, not a lot, but a little, and then I use my tip on the Fitz tying tool dubbing brush, which I really like, I can use this when I tie small flies, just the tip of it, and then I can decide how much and how many strands I want to pull out. I think this is pretty good. And then a few of the ones on the extra small tubing. Like this. And we pull that back. This helps with the The flashy part so this is going to be my uh, flash instead of uh, angel hair in the wings there's a little bit of glue I don't want to sit there because we want to get the hackle as close as possible to the to the dubbing Check so we don't have anyone anything long enough to tangle in our hook later on, which will be placed about here. I want the hook to be here, the hook um, bends. So the fly swims really good and uh, the hook ends up in the middle of the fly. So, And here I have a small black soft hackle which I will make two turns in front here before we put on the little micro cone head micro turbo cone head and now I'll tie this in on my side like this and then I will take my hackle plier and make two turns. Fold back the strands with your fingers and wind it on as tight as you can. So that's the first turn and then the second turn as close as you can to the first turn. And then I pull away the excess the strands I don't need. Then I go back and see where I took away the other ones. Like this. And now I do the turn again. Because now it will end up exactly where I want to tie it in with no strands. One, two, 
three, four, five. Cut off the stem, take my little comb, and I check so the spread is good. Looks quite even. And then I can brush through the wing. And all we have to do now is put on the small micro tungsten turbo cone head in gold. I put it there and then I make a few turns with glue. So I put glue on the thread. Just a little bit on these small flies. And then I wind it on. And I try to wind this on on top of each other. And I use loose turns. Because if I use loose turns, when I push this in, it will, if I have gone too far forward, I will push in the thread and the glue with the Niklas Bauer pike tube. So just push this in. If I, uh, if I make it with hard turns and uh, I get too far forward, I can't push the, the cone head further back. It will stop where I've tied in the, the, the turns with the tying thread hard. So with the glue I just use loose turns because then it will hide underneath this little uh, turbo cone head and I would press it in so it will come along. Take it out of the vise. Looks so everything is quite straight. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a really small fly. And then we cut it off leaving about one and a half, two millimeters. Melt it down until it touches the cone head. And then I put it on the opposite way to create a good hole. Here, see that one strand is too long. From the dubbing, so just cut that off, and then we put it back on the vise for you guys to see. These flies are very simple to tie, and I really like how they look. And these I will fish most of the time if the water is low. It's always low when I go fishing, it doesn't matter which time of year. It's always warm and low. So, uh, here it is. My small uh, TTT Samurai type of fly. And I think these ones look great. Here's the other one. It's almost the same size on these two. This one is a little bigger and a little more. It's two turns on this as well, but I used the soft, the softer hackle. On this one I used a little stiffer to get it more translucent. And I tied them in Uh, gray and green as well and on some of these ones I used a teal hackle which I think looks really good
here I use the reg regular soft tackle. So a little different ties, different. This one is a little bit bigger. I really like how the teal looks. And the gray and green. A little sunnier days and this one if the weather is a little cloudy or something. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I said, uh, they're really easy to tie. And uh, I have faith in these flies, so <laughs> here's to hoping. I hope it gets a good uh, 12 days for me uh, in Norway now. And then I will be home again and then I will go back to another river. So this trip I will fish two rivers and <laughs> I need to get a salmon because last year was, was a disaster. For me. I went on a trip to my friend who lives in Orkla in Storås and when I had two hours left at uh, 2 a.m. in the morning I uh, crashed with a, with a moose and it uh, totally destroyed the windshield of my car um, but I managed to get the car to his place and we fished for I think two days we saw a few salmon I didn't f feel anything and then I got uh, COVID so <laughs> I had to stay in bed for about four days with fever and um, just uh, yeah, drinking uh, water and watching movies and sleeping for four days and uh, then I had to fly home before because my car wasn't ready and then uh, a few weeks after I took the train to get it so 26 hour travel time so that's one trip I don't want to be happen again so this year I hope it goes a little bit better uh, thank you for watching <clears throat> and if you want to subscribe to my channel that would make me very happy just click this uh, picture of me here when I hold a fish, boop, and you will get to the subscribe uh, stuff and click the little bell so you get a notification if you want to. And if you want to watch an old uh, fly tying film that I made, just click the, the square with a little film in it. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.